What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to another edition of the Jericho Report Weekly News Briefing. It is Sunday, the 19th of July, 2020. As always, the first link below will take you over to the Patreon post. That's where you can find all the madness. And I hope you're ready. I've got probably the most packed report of the year so far. Let's get into the news. Refrigerated trucks requested in Arizona and Texas as more reach capacity of COVID-19 surge, so hospitals are packed now. Florida labs acknowledge major errors after reporting positivity rates of 100%. They are admitting that the numbers are fudged in Florida, yet they're closing everything down again. Fox 35 investigates questions raised after fatal motorcycle crash listed as COVID-19 death. Well, you see, the COVID-19 made him crash the motorcycle. That's why it's COVID-19. Trump retweeted a post accusing the CDC of lying about the coronavirus to prevent his re-election. Okay, that for Business Insider. Natural News says bombshell COVID-19 infection rate may be 440% higher among children who receive flu shots. Imagine that. Put a link to that. Zero Hedge has this. World Health Organization will not investigate the Wuhan lab where coronavirus was kept. Of course they won't. Wearing face, mask ex wearing face masks exposes asthmatics to hypoxia. Yes, do a little research on hypoxia and breathing your own carbon dioxide. You know what else it causes? Blood clots. Autopsies of COVID-19 patients show blood clots in multiple organs. Don't tell me to wear a mask. Politico puts this out. Trump Trump focuses on white people killed by police and defends the Confederate flag. Other news, obviously. DailyMail.com. Donald Trump turns White House into rally venue. Uh, again, posing under a Trump-branded crane. I mean, this is the reality that we're living in. There you go. Trump branded crane. Put a link to that. I got a couple more in the general. Ben Donald Trump, I am getting rave reviews. Remember how I told you that the president of the United States is nothing more than an entertainer? He says he's getting rave reviews about the Roger Stone sentence. One more. Mary Trump, I guess this is the niece of the president, has message for... Uh, the president resigned. I apologize for all my stuttering and stumbling. Sometimes my brain just wants to comment on a story, but another part of my brain is saying, we got to get live. We got a lot to get through. How major stock indexes fared on Friday over to financial news. Looks like the Dow Jones uh, dropped 62 points on Friday, but for the week, the Dow gained 596 up and down 25 to 26 K IRS paying out 3% to 5% compounded interest on almost all refunds issued after April 15th. Be advised. That's from Zero Hedge. Central banks buy another 40 tons of gold. 40 tons of gold in May. What are they expecting? Soaring inflation to send gold to $5,000 doomsday, fund predicts. Put a link to this from Zero Hedge. AOC suggests NYC crime rate surge due to unemployment. Residents who need to shoplift some bread. She's advising residents to shoplift some bread. Over to the Gateway Pundit, George Soros donates $220 million to radical BLM groups, including movement to end policing as we know it. Of course, we already knew that. WND puts this out. Mayors endorse reparations that study study pegged at $6.2 quadrillion. $6.2 quadrillion, and who's paying for this? Oh, the Western Journal puts this out. Senator Schumer proposes $350 billion COVID aid, but not for white people. Put a link to that. Yes, I am not making that up. 83% of LA teachers vote to stay closed in the fall. Why is this in the financial bin? Well, uh, unless charter schools are closed and police departments are defunded. That makes sense. Fox 2 Now puts us out. Twitter accounts of celebrities, politicians, and billionaires hacked in cryptocurrency scam. Oh, no, that was the big news this week. Bill Gates backed vaccine alliance raises $8.8 billion in from world leaders and businesses, and I believe some of that includes the United States, does it not? I got one more in the financial bin. China rocked by unprecedented surge in bank runs. Stand by for this in the United States. Over to New World Order and Police State News, and this is where I'm going to stop and ask you to share this video and pay attention to the stuff in this category because this is a lot of stuff we've talked about over the past 10 years. President Trump says federal government to take over cities to combat rising crime. Numbers are going to be coming down. He is sending federal troops into United States cities. This has already happened up in Portland. In fact, one of the federal troops has shot a uh, Antifa protester in the face. Whether or not he deserved it, you know, that's a matter of debate, but uh, this is what they're doing up in Portland. Mayor of Portland to Trump, get your troops out of my city. I will put this people. Jade Helm, you know, all the NLE exercises, all that stuff where the military trained in U.S. cities. We told you it was all for a purpose. We're going to see it happen. RT, NYC mayor calls for unity after viral video shows man putting Bronx cop in headlock. Yes, you are seeing civil uprising, civil unrest all over the place. Many violent clashes between Black Lives Matter and protesters in Black Lives Matter counter protest in Brooklyn. So Black Lives Matter and counter protesters, civil war is what we're talking about there. Check out their video. 
on Disclosed Natural News has this. U.S. authorities uncover massive nationwide weapons trafficking run by communist China, armed Black Lives Matter terrorists with powerful weapons of war. Guess who's funding it? George Soros is my guess. Zero Hedge puts this out. Walmart to require all customers to wear a face mask by July 20. You will not go anywhere in this country soon without a face mask. Be advised. Soft tyranny being applied. Churches report Chicago officials are threatening to bulldoze their facilities for not complying with COVID-19 mandates. Yes, you can get in the streets and you can protest the police and all this without a mask and social distancing. But you cannot go to church in this country. They're threatening to bulldoze the church. U.S. troops will be among the first to get the COVID-19 vaccine. Of course you will, because you're going to be the ones enforcing the tyranny on the people. Arkansas National Guard transporting COVID-19 patients to isolation facility. FEMA camp? Probably got those FEMA coffins standing by, don't they? Put a link to that. The Daily Wire puts this out. New Zealand to quarantine people in isolation for months, maybe years. This is a global issue. The New World Order. It's all coming to pass. One more Antifa, I'm sorry, Africa to become testing ground for trust stamp vaccine record payment system. Trust stamp vaccine record payment system. Yes, I'm getting excited because we preached about this for years on end. We were called crazy. And here it is right in your face. All of it. Over to World War III news, U.S. picks fight with China in the South China Sea. That from the Asia Times. China threatens military con confrontations with U.S. and South China Sea. Another one from Breitbart. U.S. spy drone seen over South China heading toward Taiwan. These are all articles within the past week. U.S. could apply sanctions for illegal South China Sea claims. I got all kinds of China stuff here. Uh, Trump signs executive order and bill targeting China over Hong Kong. Strip city of preferential treatment. That from RT. There's other news going on. Iran and China agree to trade and military partnership. Operation Blackjack. Who do we strike? Fox News puts this out. Iran's nuclear facilities are mysteriously under attack. Well, we know who is attacking them now. Israel keeps blowing up military targets in Iran, hoping to force confrontation before Trump can be voted out in November, sources say. Jerusalem Post puts this out. Iran will show it has the upper hand if Israel continues Syria bombings. Egypt, ready to defend Libya, will not let its people down. All kinds of World War III wars and rumors of war. Four soldiers killed on this border here. Clashes. Doesn't really have anything to do with the United States. But Russia trying to steal coronavirus vaccine research from the U.S., U.K., and Canada claim. Let's shift gears over to Earth Changes in 2012 news now. I got the earthquake set up for six points plus for the past week. We had a 6-2, 6-1, and a 7-0. Uh, just east of, I'm sorry, just northwest of Papua New Guinea. That generated a short-lived tsunami. I'll put a link to the earthquake and volcano data. I didn't see too much on volcanoes this week. Here is a link from RT. The 7.0 magnitude hits off Papua New Guinea coast. Triggers a short tsunami warning. Nothing really became of it. Uh, Ridgecrest uh, Trembler's triple chance of big earthquake along San Andreas Fault. Okay, yeah, throw that on top of everything else we're facing. I got one from Live Leak here. Check this out. Minnesota Storm Chasers incredible close encounter with tornado caught on camera. If you have not seen this video, you got to pull it up and check it out, man. He is just right face to face with a tornado. Crazy. Some people say it's CGI. I mean, it looks absolutely nuts. Uh, TFD warns public about runoff from Bighorn Fire. Check it out. It's that stuff from it's that stuff from the first X Files movie. It's coming right at us. I'll put a link to that. Sea foam storm in South Africa as winds cause havoc on Cape Town. Look at that. I bet that smells lovely. A couple more. Four mysterious objects spotted in deep space unlike anything ever seen from life science. And be advised, astronomers discover a huge galactic wall hidden behind the Milky Way. Yeah, can I name it? It's called the South Pole. I'm sorry, but you just know they are trolling the flat earthers with that one. Over to Strange and Bizarre News. Coronavirus. Check this out. Fishermen test positive despite spending 35 days at sea and testing negative before they left. Well, I wonder how they got it. Coronavirus data has already disappeared after Trump administration shifted control from the CDC. Oh no, things going missing. Uh, Israel's oracle delivers big message from God. The Messiah is here. Really? Well, can you help them? Uh, can you tell them to help us with the rest of this strange and bizarre news? Help us straighten some of this out. The lengths they are going to with the PSYOP is a sight to behold. Check that out. There's your Messiah right there, eh? Oh my goodness. Big statue of nurse wearing mask. Behold! Uh, Michigan man fatally shot after stabbing and fight over wearing a mask. Be advised people are killing each other over the mask. OPP shoot a man dead hours after mask dispute. 
leads to alleged assault. I believe that's out of Canada, right, CBC? Video shows passengers attack airline workers at Fort Lauderdale Airport. I kill you! Uh, unruly passenger forces Alaska Airlines A320 back to Seattle. I believe this is the guy that stood up on a plane and said, I will kill everyone on the plane unless you... Uh, in, unless you agree that uh, Jesus was a black man or something like that. Uh, mute white people button appears on Instagram. Post be advised from the examiner. Bad hair day. Seattle business owner pressured into chopping off dreadlocks following following cries of cultural appropriation. Yes, you, a white person can't have dreadlocks. That's not allowed. Epic. Portland Antifa opens car door to assault driver. A driver body slams the punk. you got to pull this up and check out that video. He did too. Boy, he's, boy that concrete's got to hurt. White mother killed by Black Lives Matter mob for allegedly saying all lives matter. National media fully ignores. Yeah, you won't see that on CNN. Hell no. For all other news, please check my favorite videos. If you haven't been over there lately, we got UK police on lockdowns trapping people in their buildings. This is going on again. We got another church on fire in France. Shoplift. Oh. Pull up my favorites and check this out. Shoplifter steal from Walgreens in San Francisco. People just walking in and walking out. No cops, nobody stopping anybody. It is at utter madness, people. Oregon officials uh, object to federal, blah, blah, blah. They're grabbing protesters on the streets. I already covered that. Colorado mask, Molly, blah, blah, blah. All kinds of stuff here. And comment Neowise, all this stuff here. Check out my favorites. Thank you to everybody who continues to put out content. You guys are doing awesome work. And shout-outs this week. Shout-out to the gun store who offered free rifles to Missouri couple scene. Guarding their home from BLM protesters, yes, the St. Louis City Circuit Attorney took their weapons away, but a gun store has their back here locally. Shout out. Utah official booed for canceling meeting about school, school children wearing masks. 100 packed the room without face covering. Shout out to the Utah resistance. Right on. And shout out to Plandemic. Do you know that Plandemic has now had 1 billion views worldwide? If you have not seen Plandemic, I will put a link to this website. You can scroll down. There it is. 25-minute video. It explains a lot about what's going on right now. That's all I got for this week, guys. If you like this report, please give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you think it sucked. It's the worst of YouTube. You never want to see it again. Please rate, though. It helps them move around. Please share it as well. You can also follow me on Facebook, Gab, Twitter, BitChute, all those sites. All my links are always at the bottom. And if you want to support this report, this channel has been 100% demonetized monetized by YouTube because I post dangerous content. You can certainly support me on Patreon or follow me over there for free or send me a direct donation on PayPal. I definitely appreciate the donations I get every week. You guys keep me going. It takes a lot of energy to do this. And thank you guys so much for the support. I really appreciate it. That's all I got. Please tell me what you think about all this madness, guys. What a week. What a week. I, I, I bookmarked so much stuff this week. Half of it I, I couldn't even give you. I mean, I, I literally had like two or three hundred bookmarks. This is the best. This I, I just picked the best stories, stuff I thought you'd want to hear about, and there it is. Who knows what's coming next? There's still a lot of people talking about the possibility of an asteroid strike that we're about to go through a debris field, and that's why all this stuff's going on. I do not rule that out. So keep your eyes to the skies and keep your eyes on everything else. Remain, remain vigilant. We have a lot on our plate. You guys take care. Stay safe. I will see you on the next one.